Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing for the Sony Xperia C5 Ultra and this is the dual sim variant that we have and it here it says that it's a 4G ready device and this is sort of a fablet device because it has a massive 6 inch screen and the highlighting fact about this device is that uh, even the front facing camera is a 13 megapixel uh, shooter and it also has a selfie flash. Uh, the rear facing camera obviously is also having a 13 megapixel sh shooter and as you can see uh, the Sony says that it has a Bravia engine and uh, it is powered by a MediaTek chipset uh, not a Qualcomm one. And uh, before we open it up, let's uh, see the pricing. The price quoted here on the box is 29,990. But I purchased this unit from a local store here in Hyderabad for 26,500. And I also checked the online pricing. And in online stores also, it was available for 26,500 to 27,000. Rupees. And I'll have links for both the Flipkart and Amazon. So if you're buying from online stores, please use my link. It does help the channel. So here we finally open this up and we have the massive device. It sports a six inch uh, screen. Uh, we'll come back to this device a bit later. Let's see what else do we get. Uh, looks like we also get a screen guard here with this one that is supplied. And let's look what else. Uh, we have some user guide, startup guide, uh, and the warranty statement. I'll keep these things to the side. And uh, we have the micro USB to USB cable. And Sony is bundling a earphone, but again, it's a normal type, not an in ear. And we have a button here to take or end calls, and also a microphone. And uh, this is the charger that is supplied. And it's a, a, a normal charger. And uh, it says that it's just, uh, what do you say, 5 volt at 850 milliamp hour. So it's not a fast charger, just a normal charger. Let me keep these things to the side and let's look at the handset. So here we have the C5 Xperia Ultra and it is a massive handset, I would say. And again, this is also a sticker, so you can take this out. And I got this in this mint color. Uh, this is uh, a new color. So I thought, why not I just uh, use this one? And... Uh, uh, the battery uh, looks like it's sealed inside uh, and uh, again it's a dual sim device and we have the slots over here uh, we can open this up and we can also add a micro sd card and your uh, sim card over here in this slot and uh, again uh, let me give you a physical overview on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and uh, this looks metallic uh, and we have the power button, volume rockers, a dedicated button for the camera shutter. Again, on the bottom, micro USB slot, the main microphone. And again, on this end, as I told you, the slots for your uh, SIM card and the micro SD card. Uh, the rear facing camera is a 13 megapixel shooter with LED flash. We also have a secondary noise cancellation microphone. And we also have, and that means it is it has NFC support. And again, it's a massive device. Again, the highlighting fact is, the front facing camera is also a 13 megapixel shooter and it also has a LED flash. Let me just power this on and I hope it has a charge. It gave me haptic feedback and uh, by the time it boots, let me bring some other devices to give you an idea about the size. This is the Galaxy J7 uh, which has a 5 point, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, 5 inch screen and uh, this is the Mi 4 which has a 5 inch screen. So gives you an idea by any stretch it's a massive device. Uh, I also have the note file, let's bring that one. So as you can see, it is considerably, it's a big device. So let me keep these things to the side. And uh, looks like we have a dual speaker setup. Not very sure, but let's uh, continue with the setup. And regarding Wi-Fi, good thing is that it supports both the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. So we are booted and uh, so this is the interface that we get and looks like we have quite a uh, few apps that are actually uh, pre-installed a lot of bloatware uh, but we do have fm radio also let's look at the settings if we go here and it says we can also set up a uh, single hand operations uh, let's look at the settings if you go over here and uh, if you go to about and if we look at the android version uh, it's still an android version 5.0 
So it's Lollipop, but not the latest version of Android Lollipop. I hope uh, Sony updates it uh, quickly. And again, as I told you, it's having a MediaTek octa-core processor. Uh, I'll talk about the specs a bit later, but let's look at the storage. Uh, out of that 16 gigabytes, how much do we actually get? And out of that 16 gigabytes, we just get 8.5 gigabytes of space free. So I feel uh, the extra bloated apps are taking a lot of internal storage. I will see if we can uninstall those apps uh, in my full review. I'll check that. But uh, before we continue, let me give you a configuration overview. This Xperia C5 Ultra sports a 6-inch IPS LCD screen, which is a 1080p screen. Moving to the processor, it is having a MediaTek Octa-Core processor, that's the MT6752. And it is clocked at 1.7 GHz and it's based on the ARM Cortex-A53 architecture. Regarding the GPU, it sports the Mali T760 MP2 GPU. It has 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage, and it also has a micro SD card slot. Moving towards the camera, the rear facing as well as the front facing camera both have a 13 megapixel sensor, and the front facing camera also has a LED flash. It also has NFC support, and the battery is a 2930 milliamp hour battery. And uh, Again, uh, I would say it's a huge phone. Again, a lot of bloatware. Uh, so let's see if we can uninstall this. It says add to the screen. I'll check all that uh, uh, if I'm able to uninstall this bloatware later on. And uh, let's fire up the web browser. Let's open up the Chrome web browser. Overall, the phone looks nice in the hand. It's a big phone by any stretch, I would say. But again, I'm uh, I'm a little bit saddened to see that uh, Sony is using a MediaTek chipset on phones that are costing around 26, 27,000. So uh, that's my only grab. So this is the default keyboard that we have. And uh, well, it looks responsive as of now. Let's uh, look at the screen viewing angles. The viewing angles are okay, but I am noticing a slight shift in the colors a little bit when you move around uh, but a very decent screen i would say and as you can see pinch to zoom etc is responsive let's also try redef.com and uh, oops and again as you can see it loaded it very quickly uh, so web browsing should be good. Again, I, I feel this is a will be a great device for media consumption, considering the size. It has a, that six end screen. Let's see if USB OTG works out of the box. Uh, let's plug this in. And let's see if something happens. Uh, yes, it says preparing USB OTG. So that means USB OTG support is uh, there. And uh, look, and if, uh, you should be able to access USB OTG. Let's... Uh, Yes, we have the file commander and uh, I'll just accept this. As you can see, external USB OTG, uh, USB storage detected that. So this is the one that uh, we have. So let me do one thing. Let me just uh, try to play this video with the default video player just once. And let's maximize the volume and see how it is. So, oops. So fairly loud, I would say, and uh, the viewing angles, as you can see, uh, the viewing angles are good, but again, not like an AMOLED panel, but again, really good. And uh, yeah, uh, the speaker is uh, both. So it's a front firing speaker. So that's nice. So we have USB OTG support. Let me just get out of this one. So that's nice to see. Uh, let's also now quickly uh, look at the camera, which is sort of the highlighting uh, factor about this device. And uh, let me just fire the camera app. Here it is. And it has geo location. I'll just deny that for a second. Let's first look at the rear facing camera, the basic stuff, tap to focus. So there is quite a bit of delay, as you can see. Uh, I am, I'm going to try it again. I clicked it and it's taking about a second. So definitely uh, the shutter speed, there is quite a bit of lag, which is surprising because Sony is touting this one as a 
camera uh, phone and this is the front facing camera that we have so we can take selfies in 13 megapixel but again as uh, you noticed there is certainly a uh, shutter delay i would say and regarding modes sony does offer a lot of modes so we have a lot of modes over here again i'll tr try to uh, what do you do a camera review if you guys insist on that Another thing that I've noticed is that the bezels are really thin on this Xperia C5. So that's it for now for this very quick unboxing of the Xperia C5. If you have any specific questions around this device, do post them in the YouTube comments. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.